Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Wonderful people, welcome to another thrilling episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you ask us to bring your favorite celebrities to answer questions that have been bugging you and we get them to answer honestly. Today's guest is a legendary comedian and actor who came to life through his role in the Boys Casa comic series. When we get back from the break, Calibos is speaking honestly. Charlie, I still can't believe she made that child a head of. Just because his father is a legend, you make him an inspector. But <laughs> I still don't get you. The child you are referring to has earned more bars than you can ever do. So what are you talking about? But I, I have been making more bars before this guy joined the police. Who has made me an inspector? Just one bars. One bars? Oh, La Paz, Fadama. Chale, Medina, who has made me an inspector? All this bars you are talking about was led by Ike. You were just part of the team. So just give him that credit. One bars is still a bars. Oh. I'm an inspector on my own. Welcome back. Calibus is here with me, and hey, he's our house. Guys. I usually ask the people to sip and he's already sipping. <laughs> we don't have that much time. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We're matching. This was unplanned. Oh, but we're matching. Like, I'm now realizing. Yeah, see yeah. blue, see blue. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. I we have to see the blue as we're sitting by the seaside. So we're seeing the blues of the bass. You, you didn't get it? <laughs> don't cry. Sip, sip. Don't cry. Mm hmm you'll be fine well welcome thank you <laughs> i wanted to welcome but you seem like you've you know you've welcomed yourself yeah, and just, everything is you know trying to hit some yeah. bars and then yeah. see that i'm small yeah. I'm fine. how are you doing i'm doing great yourself how's, how's media i'm fine great. i'm mm -hmm. i'm looking for money we're all looking for money so and i don't what? know if i'm depressed money is not looking for us is it that money is not looking for us in this country or money is well, not looking for us in general i think money is general because yeah every place every country yeah. they all need money to yeah. survive so yeah yeah, yeah. so how we go solve this issue i uh, will still look for the money yeah forget it okay we'll give the okay. thumbs up all right yeah. so so um um i want to know a little bit you know about mm. you you yeah. know what is your real name? I believe Calibos is not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes. So the real name is uh, Richard Kweku Osu Asante. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm a full Ashanti person, okay. both parents. And uh, I, I grew up in Ghana. Okay. Wow, well, I'm saying it as if like I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Accra. Yeah. Yeah. Manifested, you hear me? Ooh, of course, of course, yeah. I grew up in Ghana. I schooled. Um, primary secondary school in eastern region and then back to the film school here yeah so yeah quite cool as people call me most often you know with their shanties yeah very very <laughs> uh, typical about them yeah so they always mention that they uh born you are right and then they'll add your christian name to it right right so i right. hope you always hear people calling me quite cool richard quite cool richard yeah, some Kweku broke my so me if I see someone that is called Kweku, I don't want him near me cry. Is, is he a shanty? I don't I don't know. I guess so since his name is Kweku. Kweku. Yeah. No. I, I I think he's from Central Region. The people who say uh, it's Ivana, ah, you with know with them they don't do. They are like they'll that. Eh? Yeah, I will never forgive you. Don't do that. I will never forgive is you. Is it a Kweku? Yes. I will never forgive mm. you. Anyways, moving on. Guess what? He will also never forgive you. Draw draw. Guys, yeah. I don't like him. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm still sipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um 
that's that's who uh Calibos, or let me say Kwe Kwe. so with the name Calibos, it's funny so way back in primary school to gss yeah. you know when you're about to finish your bc they do this thing that they write your names yeah the back yes, on the tables with on your the walls Nikki. and all that so after your last paper then you all wear it yeah. then you find your name and your nikki and all that yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah my class they they, they Sorry, had already help you with some tissue thank you my class, they, they had already gotten all the names, but then I wasn't so much fan of nicknames. Right. So, yeah, I, I didn't have any. And I said, I just want to go with my name, Richard or Kweku, cool, yeah. whatever. <laughs> they said, no, we have to have your nickname to it. So it took me just some few minutes to do that. So I started say, um, bringing initials of names together. So mostly I go with the name Kweku Asante. So I use the K, the first letter, and my surname Asante. I use the A, and I realize it's form ka, ka so dear. <laughs> right. me, I cannot yeah. Like no. yeah. So I needed to add more names to it, and I have uh, two siblings. They're both female. Right. One is lady, one oh. is ya. Right. So I use the L and then the Y, and then okay. they form Kali. Kali. Like, oh, this thing is catchy. Yeah. But then at home, I'm the only boy, so my, my dad calls me boss, 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 I boss. See. It's always been boss at home. So I added the boss, and boss is spelled with B O double S. So I right. omitted one S from it, and it formed Color Boss, the only boss with one S. And it's been from there through secondary I'm sorry, school you just said the only boss with one S, and just like a it wave don't. of nostalgia just hit me from your videos, you know? <laughs> the only boss with one S. Yes, like, yes, you know? Yes. <laughs> it just hit me. Like, exactly, that's crazy. Exactly. So that's that's what uh, brought about the name Calibos. Yeah. And it was very catchy, and, you know, people started referring yeah. me more to Calibos. Yeah. Than, yeah. And so, how how did we, like, you know, what what school did you attend? Yes, I attended my primary school at St. Anthony School. Okay. So back then, you know, growing up, we had this lovely TV kids, yeah. you know, uh, segment on TV yeah. called the Cheche Kule. Yeah. So it was by Uncle George Lane. So it was his school that I went to. Right. He was more bent on, you know, kids with talent. Right. Exactly. So I started learning how to dance, yeah. play football. You understand the acting bits was with the drama and all that so i was very you know keen in all those aspects so i think i i started um you know realizing what my talents were from that age you understand and then uh, it entered into the secondary school that you know now i had to be more academical you understand but then the entertainment bit of it was there so i was more into music back then i i love music yeah i'll rather do more music can you sing or rap i am more of the rapper because when i say hey pause uh, my pause key, my freestyle key the, huh? freestyle Adi. 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 okay i'll use my name Okay, Richard mm -hmm. Usu Asante, SMB okay. block, straight up, I went up a site. We take a school, now we will get down and say, Hello, she can't go, won't you meet her? But the way you wouldn't catch up with the before the material, but the two people missing with the man who be do what ten minutes with them and the banana. Oh my god, I'm a rapper. Hello, you are a rapper. Hey, Calibus, yes, 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 we are all doing the amen. I was there for me in school. I, I really loved rap. Back then, it was South Korea, you know, now coming up and with this whole tongue twist thing, I, I understood it and I realized there's something I can do. Oh, yeah. no, but I think it's like, honestly, all jokes aside, I, all jokes aside, I try, like, I try. It's really, like, I'm not it's, commercial. Like, it's really good. Why didn't you take it? Why didn't you take this seriously? Because me two amon Oh, why? <laughs> why would you say that? Well, I, I think of key. Oh no, yeah. I don't think so. Maybe I'm gonna try, but then have you, I, heard, have you heard the songs that are being released now in the outside <laughs> world? They are talking about off key. So that bit channeled into um, beat making yeah. for me because I realized okay, now I want to be a rapper and I found out that Sakodia raps better than me, so I channeled it into advice know, yourself. Beat making as yeah. well. So it became one sideline hobby of me right. that I mostly do it here and there. And all yeah. That. And yeah and so how did we get into acting great so acting ha 
<laughs> right. Um. Again, let me take it from my infancy. Okay. The, you know, with the um, how do you call it? Children's service in school. I was also very crucial and key in you know the state dramas right, and all that. Right. I had that bet. But as to how to interpret it or make it mine, I I needed something to you know um, you know I set up. That's when comedy came into play. Right. Uh, I think you're naturally funny. Uh, yes, I <laughs> I got that bet <laughs> from from growing up to school to I get people giving me that energy of oh, yeah. I have that you know hilarious you're funny, bit yeah, of you're me. Funny, so. Yeah. It's like okay then let me incorporate it into my art of acting so acting back then uh let me just say it started from nafti yes nafti but before then I'd, shout nafti yeah, 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 <laughs> shout out before then I'd, I'd been more behind the scenes when i say that um i started as a cinematographer right yes work with various production houses so you find me recording people filming people when they start with their acting bits i'll go like oh, yes. This thing, right? <laughs> it was me. I would have done it this, this way. way. I would have taken it way. that way. So, um, day in, day out on set, I find them doing their craft and all that. And then I'll just be behind and also be doing it. And even on my leisure time, I might get the dialogues in mind and then I'll start doing it my own. So, I started building it from that side. But through Nafti, um, that was when I got into a group. Uh, it wasn't a group group, but then we were all in the same class, though. Kofia Samoa, who is down there, CEO of Kofas Media, Amor Fepa Tree, Kalido. We're all in the same class, you understand? And um, I'm always, always on the edge of trying to write something down in terms of comedy. So I always kind of, you know, get, see tweets, see some funny memes, and then I'll start to write a yeah. concept out of it. So that was what I started doing. And then it got to a time that, Charlie, we're bored in school. Let's just do something, <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So we gathered ourselves and then, but then, I mean, I was the camera person. So I'm, I knew the scripts and things that I've written and all that. So we got a guy from Legon, from the performing arts, right. to, to act uh, as a one character. Then we pair it with a whole to do it. So we got on set. We've set up everything. We're calling this dude. He wasn't picking the up. The guy scammed you. And you know, <laughs> when school, when working, yeah. we put that money together to go and rent the equipment and so all you that. So couldn't. You just so had to we shoot. Have to yeah. Return the equipment, but then we still had to do something. Yeah. That's when I jumped in. Like Charlie, let me just do. I far now. Far far now. Yeah. Fine. And that was the first uh, skit we ever did, which was uh, with the Camry one. I was posing Camry. by a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lo and behold, it, it really caught the attention of people. When I mean, we got back, we edited it. We weren't even interested because Charlie, guy named Yeah. The idea of how we wanted to do it and all that. So I mean, the students are nafty, the hostel by then someone comes to the laptop sees it copy it send it to this before we realized my dad everywhere. actually sent it to me that, <laughs> ah, isn't that you <laughs> like i think it is me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we had the encouragement and then we started filming from one skin to the other and it became my friend and yeah, yeah. <laughs> before we realized i mean it was on facebook it was going on tvs you know Shout out to Nana Banamoa. She started showing it on one sports uh, show that she was doing at TV3. Yeah. You know, UTV also started showing it in between programs. Yeah. So it, it gives us, it gave us the, the, the idea of, okay, let's let's keep on doing this. Yeah. So we started filming one skate to another, one skate to another. And yeah, it became a whole household name, Boys Casa. Series, it still is. You know? Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Don't say it was, you know, it still is, is yeah. yeah. Okay, so from the boys casa, you know, moment to you being pro um, propelled into the industry, yeah. how has your life changed from then till now? Well, it's it's been a journey of uh, evolving because I I started as a comic actor, right? And I realized, okay, so I'm going to finish Nafti. Yeah, I'm going to go into the whole industry realm yeah. where it's not just comedy. You have drama, you have action, you have trailer, and it's all It's a real that. deal. So, <laughs> a real deal. Yeah. So, I, I started having um, a self-education for myself. Did certain external programs, 
with acting because uh, that wasn't what I was studying enough to you understand so I had to learn to equip myself to assure myself fully into the film industry before I did my first movie which was Calibos in China yeah exactly so um, it's it's been a lovely journey a journey of uh, experience and learning because I am one person I like to learn a lot I like to know new stuff so it's it's really evolved me as a person and also a creative person as well. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so you know you are in the industry you know and um, recently we all saw that you know you got married but we were all oh, shocked yeah. so was I we were all shocked <laughs> because first of all we didn't see it coming and yeah. secondly we I like no offense to your wife but we I feel like we all genuinely thought that I you know our <laughs> Patri was the lady that yeah, you were yeah, gonna yeah, marry yeah. or like you know yeah. should have been you know, some people said nah mm. like you should have married mm. her mm. that's that that's good though How, Please explain to us because right. I think some people still right. are so, confused. First of all, acting is made believe, right? right? So to me, to score it to that uh, high point is when people will watch something and they will still empathize with you and be in that moment. Right. You understand? So I still get this a lot, even yeah. though that I'm still married. People yeah. see me and go like, "Oh, I'm too worried, but I don't I understand. You know, it's it's it's. It's to me when when you put out something that people can actually associate with. So no no two ways about that with that. But uh, again, as a person, I I I can distinguish myself clearly. I know who I am as Kweku and who my persona is as Calibos. Yeah, exactly. So it's one or let me say the two things i don't interchange with like yeah. i have a clear distinction yeah. or definition for each one so yeah. the queer cool is more reserved than off social media with anything private you understand so calibos is what i'll give you with what you know calibos with exactly so i didn't marry a hofe patri because a hofe patri is my alter persona's girlfriend yes which is calibus right so it stays that way right but me as kweku has his own you know life going and all things going for yeah. him on that side so yeah yeah that's how you know final it. final thing before we move to the questions okay. from your fans like the boys casa coming series you know mm. did it come to an end is it like paused mm. should we be expecting any form of reboot yes, yes you know yes 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 so um it was in a transit of you know trying to find certain things to spice it up you understand so it's a good question you've asked yeah it's, it's in a pipeline of something that will blow people's mind. right yes with the same Party yeah. and color boss and yeah. different twists to come I'm so very today. excited about it because I like I told you, you know before we started shooting yeah. this is something that I've been watching for a long time yeah. now I love it I downloaded all of it on my phone I had a white techno phone oh. and I had it on my phone and, and we would go my friends and I and my cousins and yeah. we would sit in a corner and we would watch all the and videos and ah. we just like I just loved <laughs> like you were you are oh, a household you. name like thank we just you. loved you and yeah. if like if truly you know you guys are gonna reboot it or yeah. do it like i cannot wait i'm yeah, very excited yeah. Yeah. yeah on that note guys let's go on a quick break when we come back calibus is answering all your questions Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking. Calibus is ready to answer all the questions that you sent him right after he finishes, you know, sipping the drink. He will answer. I'm clearing my truth. <laughs> Are you ready? Because yeah, these questions, go. yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. From who? Various from, people. yeah, from, you have 16 questions. I think so far I've done 14, 15. I've never gotten to 16. So, yes. Yeah, so okay. be ready. Let's go. Okay, so the first one, Team Team Scott from Takrade wants to know um, some of your fondest memories from Boys Casa since it was the one that brought you, you know, into the limelight. Oh, I can't pinpoint a single one because every adventure we shot was something on its yeah. own. You understand? Yeah, because we we worked together as a family. We were all in the same class, the same course 
I'm not the same course, but I mean the same yeah. class. So we were just, you know, during school hours, we will finish with our normal curriculums and yeah. We, we we always couldn't wait for class time to be over so we can go to the yeah. film and film. So it was always an exciting moment for us to go and film. Yeah. So you don't really have one favorite? Oh, every, yeah. oh, every day was a favorite day yeah. for me. Okay, yeah. uh, next one. <laughs> Team Scott again wants to know when you and Ahonfe Patri um, are going to get us a hilarious Bo Boys Casa reunion episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I know people are just, you know, Waiting patiently for impatiently. That. Impatiently. <laughs> yes. Let me just put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 going to hit your screens. Yeah. So, yeah. Watch We're excited. I'll say it again. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very very excited. Um, Del from Accra says he saw you on season two of Inspector Bediaku. Can you share a little bit about your experience working on that project? Oh, professionalism top notch. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Shout okay. out to Farmhouse Productions. Shout out to Mr. Ivan Kwashiga, he's a father, he's a senior colleague, you know. He is the one and not the two. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. Inspector Bediako gave me a different um, idea of, you know, act I mean, it's it's the first crime, you know, action thriller I've ever done. So I, I needed to, you know, put myself much into such characters yeah. you understand the reason why i even started hitting the gym i've grown some muscles in it we can see it you can see it yeah, eh? yeah it's really my abs. You, come on that's, give me something that's six packs in one container we still maintain <laughs> the one day straight to guys this guy is trying to scam me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's better be there cool. i mean we shot the season one yeah awesome moment every day was it's it wasn't an easy production trust me it a lot went into it you know mentally physically physically work-wise emotionally because it gets to a time you'll be so worked out you know emotions will come to play you need to you know tone it down and yeah. then but then if you've not seen season one season two is out now showing on aquaba magic on dstv you should you should make it a point to watch yeah. it you'll get to see a different side of calibers and also you know much those who are like not the okay, the early ninety babies, they they know what a spectabediaco was. You understand? So trust me, if you have that in mind, uh, know that there's a step up for it. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, fair point. Cool. Uh, next, uh, Dell again. He still wants to know um, one of the biggest challenges you faced in your career so far and how you overcame it. Again. Uh, Every day is every day is a challenging episode for us. You right. understand? We we move through life circles in different dimensions. So I I always open arms to challenges, but I don't focus on one challenge because you might solve this challenge today, tomorrow another one will come and you have to adapt a different style. So yeah. I'm open for every challenge. And I see all those to be, you know, tidbits of what I call experience because uh, experience is what you get when you don't get what you want so right. you're doing something you're not getting the result for it it's propelling you and giving you certain essentials that you don't need you, you don't know yeah then, just to record ahead in life so per experience uh, or per, per challenges i encounter a lot and every day is a challenge for me let me just put it down yeah yeah, yeah. Fair point. Um, Fico Darling from Asante Bekwai. Oh, I Asante Bekwai. Bekwai oh, okay. wants yes. to know how married life changed your approach to work and comedy. Hey. Really? Yeah. How did it change your approach like to work? Has it really even affected anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the same. Mm -hmm. It's just that yeah, you signed a marriage contract. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just put on, um, let me say, more responsibilities. Right. You understand? Right. And, um, if if you know how to differentiate from what your work ethics is and what family is you know that you don't need to bring certain work ethics home back you home understand? or certain families that have in outside, outside to work here yeah. reason why i i stated with who who is and who calibers, calibers yeah. and so i always have a clear distinction of right. how to maneuver the two right. so I'm, 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 just, I'm chilled with it. 
Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, um, Fico Darling again wants hey, you to share. <laughs> Fico, 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 yeah, Fico Darling <laughs> again wants you to share a funny or interesting moment that uh, happened on sets um, that you were a part of. Any one of the sets? Oh, this is funny. This is funny. So <laughs> this happened. Yay! Let me just say quite a, 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 a while. Um, I was supposed to be on sets for a production. Right. But then uh, I guess the director or producer was doing multiple productions. But then I ended up on a wrong production. Oh no. Which was the same director's production. Oh though, no. But then a different director. Yeah. Doing it. And they all didn't know. And I also had. No idea, yeah. But then I had, I've gotten the script of what I'm supposed to do and the character name. Yeah. And I go there and I'm given a different character name. I was like, okay. Okay, let's just go with it and you read through the lines right and there and started. there what because they assumed i'm the one playing stop it <laughs> now in the middle of the shoot <laughs> <laughs> during the day somewhere that we're almost wrapping up this dude comes and <laughs> he, he came with apologies or something because oh. apparently he was supposed to be on set ah. in the morning but then he ran into some trouble or something ah. accident or something yeah and he comes and he he oh, comes and I'm he so starts. I'm late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm this and I'm the one playing this and I'm like ah, what's going on here? Everyone was confused, no. <laughs> and they knew the actor. They were like no, we are sorry, but this guy has just nailed your role that we're supposed to do <laughs> oh, it. So no. we might have to. And so now the guy is another good friend of mine. So I was gonna ask like, <laughs> did he hate you <laughs> no, or no? Okay. No, because I, I actually went. On the battle trip with him, yeah. Because I was like, okay, if I'm doing this, I'll then speak to take, the director yeah. so you can take yeah. me. But it, it didn't end up that way because the director still wanted me to yeah. play the other one. But then, yeah, he understood, and yeah, so it's just a um, yeah, <laughs> but it was funny, yeah, it sounds funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Nana Adinkra from Kwehu wants to know if you accept a chance from Farmhouse Production to be featured in YOLO series. Yo, would you? You only live once, ah, isn't it? <laughs> that would be so nice. I think it would be funny. People would love it? to see you. Yeah, like, yeah, it is on in a farmhouse, you should know. Yeah, top notch quality, storyline, everything. I yeah, think yeah, it would be it. such a funny, fun thing. Mr. To. Ivan, please think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Emmanuel from Ejisu wants to know the most outrageous fan request you've ever gotten and what happened. Wow. Well, hello. Wow. Well, this happened. This happened, and um, I, I thought it was just a mere joke or what something. What happened? <laughs> a lady was so obsessed with me. She had wanted to marry me. She like said, "Oh, yeah. hey, I love you so much. Yeah. Can you please Always, marry me?" Constantly. And she's Ghanaian. Um, let's say fifty-fifty kind oh. of Ghanaian and living. I was like, was she pretty? But yes, she was. So, what did you say? Uh, it, it it sounded too stockish. Like, it was seriously. To the extent that they invited me over for lunch. And they were ready to come meet. Like, I, like her family? And, yes, yes. Like, it's it, real serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop I it. I didn't know her from anywhere. Just a fan and all that. Like, you know you're going to be my husband. Yeah. Like, it was scary. Yeah. Trust me, it was scary. And yeah, then, I get a stalkish part now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it took a while for that thing to clear off. How did how did it clear off? I, I, I had to I had Block? to ghost. Yeah. Yeah, I had to just ghost. Change location of where I lived. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. She had to find where I, I was living. No man. Yeah, yeah, it was it was that bad. So the obsessiveness was a little bit, let me just yeah. say. <laughs> I woke up one early morning to go on set. I think we we're filming Amachi in the day back then. Yeah, yeah I man. saw Amachi in the day. <laughs> <laughs> and all that. So we had some early scenes to do when I drove out from my house. This was like around 5 30. Yeah. Because before I was going back to bed, I saw her missed calls calling in. I mean, I was trying to ignore her and all that. So I wasn't picking up the calls and all. And I woke up early by five that I was leaving the house. She was outside my gate no. waiting. No, that, that's outrageous. That was like yeah. it for me. And 
how to finish with the production and I just relocated yeah. instantly. Relocating right? is a big thing. It's a like big that's thing for yeah. Because yeah. when I settled, I settled. So yeah. It was in the haste, but then yeah, it taught me a whole lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I understand. I mean, some some fun, you know, um, some fans approach and how they perceive things to be some can go to the very highest stream yeah you know yeah that's life wow we learn something new every day i had no idea you've been through that right. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry uh emmanuel again wants to know how many girls you dated and broke their hearts before meeting your wife boom boom bang huh boom boom bang then that's three Three, boom, that's boom, a lie. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. How many but girls what a question. and break? Like you broke their hearts. Then you met Breaking your one hearts. and only wife, like your lovely wife now. When a relationship wouldn't go well, it's it's you not understand, about breaking you hearts. You understand what they are saying. I understand, you, I understand you, but you I see, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Young man, I can't count, so just do You can't part. count. I mean, you you could have just said five and would have been cool. You say you can't no, count, it just make you look good. It could have been less. Less? You not know it's not less. Not breaking hearts, but I mean dating, though. You broke people's hearts, don't lie. Uh, they broke mine, too. Forget the people who broke you. Right now, it's but about glue. But I had glue. super glue, so when you break, I mend it, and there we go. Please, um, Oxford, this is your, I said, what's, what's his name, Emmanuel? Your question, no, it's not being answered. So, comments in the comment section. Emmanuel, we'll, yes, we'll you don't bring... even know the number of people who broke their hearts. So, yeah. I'm moving on. Oxford from Takrade says, you've collaborated, you've collaborated with uh, many talented mm. actors and filmmakers, uh, but wants to know if there's anyone you'd particularly love to work with in the future, you know, Ghanaian or international. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, really. No really cause Really? Yeah, yeah. No like one person they're like, oh like you know, it's my like I would love to work with this person. You know? I don't like his work when it comes yeah. to uh, I've not really pinpoint to say yeah. I might have certain people that, you know Yeah. I, I think like nice what about you and Kevin Hart? It would be such a funny <laughs> funny or you and Osofia. <laughs> like you or Sophia or you and Kevin Hart. It would have been nice to watch one though. hilarious yeah, yeah, yeah. movie or show or skits or yeah, you know whatever I, it is. I, I always don't look up to the, the A list artists right. when I'm acting with right. you know people. I just I just want the chemistry first. Right. So irrespective of who you are, I need to build that chemistry. Yeah. Whatever magic we'll create, we'll create it together. Right. Spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spoken. Next, um, Najimu, or I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Najimu um, from Yendi wants to know how you handle social media bullies. Social media bullies. Yep. Um, get to know that if you're in a limelight, I mean, it, it never goes off. Yeah. Exactly. It's part with Forever it. And ever. So you just have to. Abrace yourself yeah. to know how not to respond. Yeah, you understand because definitely when it's a troll, a bully, they are, they are just in a bad space to do that, so it can easily drag you into it. Yeah, so when you hear, I'm there, <laughs> you you end up bullying yourself. I, I yeah, don't you're comment talking on, to yourself, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> comment on sad things, no, not yeah. At all. yeah, yeah, right. Najimu still wants to know, um. Oh wait, Najimu again wants to know what role you won't play in a movie and why. Like, you, you, role I wouldn't. Yeah, you never play, play Carla. Like, nope, 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 nope. Uh, no, I'm I'm versatile, so I can go with. Them. But would you go nude? Would you go completely nude in so a see, role? They are, they if are, you are paid enough. There are technicalities in that. I see. It's it's not fully nude as we always see it to yeah. be. You understand? Do they have like doubles if who come? If it's a full nude, then that means it's it's an. Uh, adult rated movie uh, but again in 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 drama in any of the other genres when there's nudity there are technicalities with it right it's not total as you see it or made believe to see it. so yeah definitely to depend on what it is that i have to do yeah and how much they are paying you exactly <laughs> <laughs> same uh najimu still wants to know Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to know the relationship between you <laughs> yeah. and our perpetrator offset. Offset, yeah. we are we are family. Let right. me put it that way. Because uh, we began as began as friends. We became very close, and then now she's what I can call a family. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
So we have we have a very cordial, nice relationship. relationship yeah. Right. Yeah. Expect that. Oh, and she was my best woman. Everybody yeah. saw that. Yeah. I saw that. It was like a trending guy. Ooh. Everyone said everyone was so confused. We were like, how was is this cute? possible? I think it was, yeah. but I was confused because I I will tell you that me, my whole mind, my life, my whole heart, me, I thought that you were gonna go. <laughs> You guys were gonna get married, and so I was like, "Wow!" Yeah, she was the wow. best candidate, and none of the groomsmen knew about it. Yeah, I mean, someone I told them I was going to select my best man of that day, yeah. so they were all looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, they were all close friends of mine, so yeah, it, it, it looked took everybody like, by surprise. Though. It looked like a wonderful, beautiful event. Yeah. You know, everyone was talking about it. And, Thank yeah. you. Vada again wants you to tell us how much you were given for the Dubai holidays after the 2020 elections. I don't know the right vote to put in for yeah. this again, <laughs> but it, it was a coincidence that, I wouldn't even say a coincidence, because this was something we'd planned in the Time beginning ago. of the year. Yeah. I, I mostly do my trip planning, you right. know. But this was a time I was ever going out with some couple of friends. Right. So we planned that. Oh, I mean, just after the elections, let's, let's just, just jack yes, by and go exactly. chill for a while. So some of them were part of the campaign. So I think she's relating it to that. Yeah. We're giving money never, never. Yeah. We just planned our trip and then. Yeah. We just, I mean, the country was still. You know after the election so we just went to cool yeah. off and we came back right mm. final one you know then we move to the next segment now wants to know whether there is hope for the future of Ghanaian comedy and and you know filmmaking definitely more yeah. than hope more than hope because um the industry is striving through certain challenges and definitely it's it's not going to be same forever yeah there, there's 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 a bigger light at the end of the tunnel yeah we we believe in our culture we believe in what we can sell to the world through our creative minds and through our movie industry as well so uh comedy definitely it's 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 a journey that cut across every sector do you understand so it's it's something we 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 when i say we we're still in the process yeah. so we are helping make it better just like any any other industry music industry you know art industry poetry industry so comedy definitely has a chance to to battle with their top ones outside right. exactly right i believe yeah. that too you mm -hmm. know everyone just push it you know as hard as we can exactly. and then i feel like it could yeah. be such a wonderful thing mm. all right guys this is how we come to the end of you know this segment of honestly speaking when we come back rapid fire is next back this is honestly speaking Calibos is here with me and he is ready to rapidly fire all the questions um 
First one, would you rather be recognized everywhere as Calibus or have more privacy as Richard Asante? Calibus is fun. Yeah. Calibus is a people's president. Yeah. You it's know, nice. someone just was passing by yeah, and they're like, like Calibus, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. Next one. Uh, would you rather fufu with light soup or banku with okro siu? Mm -mm. First of all, I'm an Ashanti man. Yes. And I love fufu. Yes. Irrespective of the soup. Right. Put it in water crowd. <laughs> so yeah. Right. Fufu. Every day fufu. Yeah, I do like fufu, but I feel like mm, yeah. hey Charlie no fufu. Cause the banco and okro too. Chale, <sighs> it has its moments. Yeah. But fufu, see, imagine the kind of meat, okay? And then you have fish and then you have uh towel. It's fufu. And My mouth is watching it's fufu. I, I love towel. It's fufu. Undisputed. It's fufu. Yes. It's fufu. Yes. It's definitely fufu. Yes, it should be. It's fufu. Don't think twice. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in coma for a decade? Be in coma for a decade. Yeah, jail deal more tired to. Ah. <laughs> no, you wouldn't even know you are in coma. So when you wake up, a decade has already passed by, you know. So I, I think the coma is given or well, because when I'm out of the prison in five years, I have another five years to reform my life. Okay. But it's like, what if someone stabs you in prison? Years. What if someone stabs you in prison? What if someone strangles you in prison? Uh, it's neither here nor there. I okay, don't want to go to prison. What if someone neither do I want to be in coma. I feel like you, you know, what if someone doesn't stab you in prison and you do make it out in five years? And you, you know, know you people could, also die yeah. in coma. Yeah, so, yeah, fair points. Yeah. I was trying to change his mind, but... And 50, 50. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Um, would you rather learn from Kweku Menu or Ejako? <gasps> <laughs> no disrespect to Kweku Menu, but, but Ejako is yeah, my legend. I think Ejako is undisputed. Yes, yeah, yes, undisputed. Yes. I saw a, rec a video, not a recent video, an old video of him that ding ding yeah. ding. It got Listen. to a time he, he held the industry. Yeah. Ejako was. He's, he's always been my personal yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, he is definitely the one yeah. and not the two. <laughs> um, would you rather find a rat in your kitchen or a roach in your bed? In my bed? Yes, in your bed ooh, that you sleep in. First of all, I don't, I don't eat on my bed. Yeah. In my kitchen, I'm a bit OCD, so it's very tidy yeah. and clean. So, would you, which one do you, would you would you rather? Find a rat in your kitchen or one cockroach in your bed. It's only rat in the kitchen. They move with you, your indomie, your sardines, and everything. Yeah. All. And your rice. Cockroach. Cockroach. What are you thinking right now? One the cockroach, cockroach. to Charlie. You know when when they pass on your skin, yeah, it leaves some scar. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've what, had one before. What kind of like what scar? Is it like dot 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 dot? Yeah, do? kind of. Cause um, I don't know if I'm to call it their legs. Ah. It has this. You know, in fear, in fear on it. Ah, so it because I have my friend, like I have seen it, but we didn't know what it was, what it and we was. just thought then like that's, that's yeah. a cockroach passing on your skin. Though. Oh my god, that would be some way. I prefer the rat. Then you just okay, you because the last yeah, up your day. Yeah, 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 you yeah. understand. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather change the outcome? <laughs> would you rather change the outcome of the last election? Or get to decide the outcome of the next election. I'll get to decide the outcome of, of the, the next, next election. election. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, would you rather compete in a fufu eating contest or mm -hmm. a spicy jollof challenge? Oh, fufu. Fufu, yeah. Just, is fufu yeah, for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. my sister. Hmm. Spicy jollof, dear. Spicy, I'm not too much of a Would you spicy rather um, drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? Ah, brush your teeth with soap. Oh, drink some. Have you seen milk nefite? Milk nasa, hey, Charlie. Yeah, hey, because hey. worst case in Nigeria, you go shit them out, right? Hey, Charlie, that smell. <laughs> you can just. Ah! But Charlie, soap. Yeah. You cough and it will ladder. Like, and no, no, and honestly, <laughs> bubbles. Then, imagine you're brushing your teeth, you just be. Yeah. And then soap. That's imagine, what I'm saying with the soap. Like, you imagine just be... you use key soap. Mm. Or omu. Eish. Mm -mm. But the best part is you have clean teeth. Yeah, white. Yeah, very white sparkling. Teeth. So I guess, you know, you could think about it and mm -hmm. do what's best for you. I'll do the first one though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, last but one. <laughs> Would you rather be stranded in the jungle or in the desert? 
Oh, Janko. Janko, yeah. You can find some tree some animals tree to food eat. Be like that. Shop something food. Desert hydration. Dry. You probably Nothing. die. Yeah, like, you yeah. die quick. Yeah. Quicker than if an animal would attack you in the forest. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. For the final one, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you yeah. leave us. <laughs> would you rather teach acting at NAFTI or host a nationwide comedy tour? Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> Who came up with this one? Um, no name. It's just no rapid fire is no names. I oh. guess that's why it's rapid. Okay, so first of all, I've been on a comedy tour before. Okay. This was back in 2018. Okay. Yes. Um, it was actually Africa because there was a rap from Uganda. That's uh, Kasim, Kasim okay. Anan. In Jugush from Kenya, Emanuela, the kids from yes, yes, Nigeria, yes, 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 I've seen, and they picked me from Ghana. Right. And it was a lovely tour. Right. We did Europe, and I, I really learned a lot yeah. and all that. Now to teach, I just announced there. Pusha is there. You teach Anafti. So I'll go on <laughs> he, the tour. I think he is. Like yes, a, I yes. know. <laughs> yeah. I'll do the tour. I'll do yeah. the tour because the experience I had with the tour. I mean, and honestly, meeting people, I'll, having yes, fun. Yes, yes, lovely just, people. Yeah. I mean. It was, it was a nice experience. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, kids. I did that yeah, Me you. first. Me first. Yeah, me first. Me first. Yeah, let me just be. Yeah. Guys, yeah. all too soon, we have come to the end of this episode of Honestly Speaking. And, you know, before I let you go, yeah. um, is there anything that you're working on that you want the people to know about? Is there um, something, special message to your fans? Oh, like well, 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 I'll... I'll just keep to the special message because yes. working on that, I always like to put it on the low key. Yeah. And then oh, but maybe happening. a little hint. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, uh, another hint is the re coming back of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that whole thing. And you heard it here on Honestly Speaking, guys, <laughs> nowhere else. So. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and more movies in the pipeline. Yeah. It's, it's, it's busy year for filming this year which has already kick-started, so still go watch Inspector Bidiaco Season 2 on Aquaba Magic on DSTV. Yes, and that's that. And to message with people, I mean, just keep on grinding hard. I mean, it's, it's never easy until you have a breathing moment, you understand? Because uh, without, <laughs> without determination, you can never start. Uh, without consistency, you will never finish. So these two things to, you know, repel you to, to keep on doing your best. Right. I mean, the, 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 the day of rest will come or the day of self-actualization to know that you are a bit fulfilled in what you were, you were hustling to do. It will come. It's, yeah. I've had my fair share of it. It wasn't <laughs> easy. I never even want to motivate people with that because yeah. people would have broke down with it. Right. You understand? So just keep on pushing. And yeah. Right, guys, and that's how we draw the curtains on today's episode of Honestly Speaking. Um, special thank you to Calibos for coming, you know, giving us a good time. Thank you also goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space and drinks to conduct our interviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the link, comment who you want to see next. And if you feel like Calibos hasn't been honest or he didn't answer any of the questions that you asked, you know, to you're liking just comment say something and you know we're gonna find him bring him back here to answer those questions and we will find you where and meet you <laughs> why do you think as I he know? said <laughs> <laughs> as he said guys so yeah until next time ciao